Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you how to get these really easy, kind of modern, beachy, texturized waves on a daily basis. This is just a really great go-to hairstyle. It's my go-to just because it adds a little bit of volume, it looks cool, it's not perfect, it's kind of undone, um, kind of a beach vibe, but just a really, really cute look. It's kind of like come to be like my signature hair that I do all the time. So I kind of wanted to share with you guys how I've been achieving it. Um, if you have really fine and thin hair, I also have a lot of tips for you in this video on how you can kind of maximize your hair to um, do this style on an everyday basis without using a ton of heat um, and kind of salvage the health and um, natural state of your hair. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, feel free to hit that button down below or turn on that little bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And if you wanna see how to get this cool hair look, then just keep on watching. If you have really fine hair or if you have straight hair that doesn't hold a curl very well, what I have discovered lately, and this is like the best thing ever that I've discovered, is, I mean, I literally like, I have the worst hair in the world, <laughs> like it does nothing. Um, and what I've been doing is I'll shower at night, I usually shower in the morning, but I started switching my showers to nighttime. And what I'll do is take my hair, my real hair, obviously I don't have, I won't have extensions in when I do this. I have them in right now. And I literally just, when my hair is wet, after the shower I'll brush it out and I take it up all into one and I start to twist it. And then I twist it into a bun. And I take like an old school scrunchie, I've been obsessed with these lately, and I literally just put it like in a bun. But I do this with like all of my hair towards the top. So. Basically what this does is allows it to dry in like a twist formation and um, overnight it dries and what I have in the morning is something kind of like this, like a very weak kind of <laughs> beachy curl I guess you could say, but it is way better than nothing than having like stick straight hair and it just gives it some sort of texture that kind of looks really cool and effortless and beachy. So if you have really straight hair and you can't get it to curl and you don't want to use heat, that's the other thing is my hair is really, really fine and um, can't really handle a lot of heat. So I only do it, I try to only put heat on it like once a month if I can, just because it can't handle it. So um, this is a nice kind of solution for me to be able to get some texture in my hair without having to use heat. I have my extensions in and what I'm gonna do is just separate the hair into sections. I've applied a little bit of my Big Sexy Hair Dry Shampoo. This was in my top five favorite dry shampoo uh, video. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it down below so that you can watch it. Um, but I'm basically just gonna separate my hair and sake of this video, I'm just gonna use gonna use the scrunchie. I really like scrunchies because they don't crimp the hair, which is amazing. Um, I'm using just like my Conair curling iron that I've used for so many years in the three quarters of an inch. This is gonna be a little small for my hair extensions because they already hold curl. It's not gonna hold it for very long and it'll just give us a really texturized beachy look, so that's fine. If you want a really loose curl, then bump up to a one inch curling iron, but for today I'm using this three quarters of an inch because that's what I have to use on my real hair because it doesn't hold a curl for its life. So the best thing about this too is that I curl my hair, and my, or I curl my extensions like this, like when I, you know, put maybe heat on it like once a month when I want it to look nice like for a dinner out or something. And then really like the texture just stays in the extensions. Like you can see it pretty much has a bend already. What I like about this is the combination of getting like the crimp in my normal hair from the sleeping bun and then um, the kind of wave that's already in the extensions, I can pretty much just clip in and go anytime that I want to. If I want to touch it up and for it to look more perfect, I can definitely do that, but it's already kind of all that same like messy texture, so I love that. But I'm basically just gonna go through and take little pieces and I'm going to wrap the hair. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to leave space in between each section on the rod and leave space out at the bottom. And you can see we're just adding in a bend and it does not have to be perfect. This time I'm gonna go forwards towards my face because I don't want all of the curls to go together or else they're all gonna look too uniform and what we want is like a really beachy, like texturized look. So 
make sure you're doing each section kind of a different way and it definitely doesn't have to like be precise like you're literally just running heat on it so it can get like kind of a messy bend that's how you get that really like ununiform look these sections can kind of be bigger because um, you're really just trying to get a little bit of bend in the hair. How fast was that? It was so fast. Make sure you're leaving, I don't know, two, three inches out at the bottom. Like I just curled that one side of my head in three sections, so that was really fast. You can see it's just kind of messy and texturized. If I want to go back over it, I can is to not keep them too close like that you want it kind of spread out on the iron as you can see with mine or it starts to become too like curly sue you know and sometimes what I like to do is just like take it the normal way and kind of wrap a little bit of the edges so they're not too straight and that's just a really easy way if like they're starting to look like too straight and like unnatural you can kind of add a little bit of a bend in the bottom but don't completely curl them under just hold it really fast. Boom. And basically, same thing for our normal hair, but my hair is really, really fine and thin, so it doesn't hold a curl that well. I mean, you can see the extent of the texture that I get. I get a little bit in the bottom of the hair, but not much up top, so I'm literally just gonna wrap it, and I may have to hold this a little bit longer than like my extension hair, um, just so that it can hold on to the, um, you know the bend a little bit easier but I really just want it like not that curly it's supposed to actually just kind of look like messy and bent forward and these are probably like two to three inch sections worth of hair they're kind of on the bigger side but this is how you keep it really fast and um, quick or you want all the sections to be kind of different so that they're not blending together and looking perfect because if you start to curl them all the exact same way that's when you're gonna get that really uniform polished look of curl and that's not what we're going for so really messy really bendy And then I'm gonna go in with the Living Proof um, Firm Hold Hairspray and I'm just gonna be spraying like my real hair just to give it like a little bit of grab. I don't really need to spray the extensions because I don't really need it. So just spray your normal hair. All right, and then just a few sections at the top. And I pretty much like to do all of these ones um, away from the face just because I don't want it to like separate at the top and have it um, splitting and coming towards my face like in the part. So these ones, I definitely all do in one direction, but just try again to not make them perfect so they're not all good, like looking exactly the same. All right, easy peasy. Gonna give it one more spray on the top layer. You can kind of hold it out and spray it so it gives it more volume. All right, and then I'm just going to tease at the root just a tad because my hair gets really flat at the root. All right, and then I'm not really going to brush through a ton. I just, any areas that look kind of like crispy or like chunky. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and tips on how to get these really texturized kind of messy waves, even if you have really straight hair or really fine hair or thin hair. Um, it's like a really nice, just like everyday look, gives you a little bit of volume, it looks really cool, and just a really easy wearable hair look that looks modern and fresh. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up or let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.